almost all of us meatheads have a protein shake after a training session. But how much protein grams do you need in this protein shake? Hello folks, scientific health with a K here. How many grams of protein do we need in a meal or a protein shake to maximize muscle growth? If you have been watching this channel for some time, you know what this muscle protein synthesis is. But here it is again. MPS is the mechanism that drives muscle growth. And this can be stimulated by ingesting protein and exercising. Maybe you don't know this, but as little as 5 grams of protein can stimulate MPS. If we want to increase the muscle protein synthesis, then we can increase the protein intake. Let's take a look at this beautiful study that investigated the optimal protein intake after resistance exercise training session. This beautiful study compared between ingesting 20 grams and 40 grams of protein after this training session. The study showed that ingesting 20 grams of protein after a resistance training session can increase muscle protein synthesis in a linear fashion. On the other hand, doubling the amount of protein to 40 grams can increase MPS 10 to 20% only. One thing that should be noted in the study that they used whey protein, which is considered a high quality protein. And this is different between ingesting a meal that has whole food proteins or other meat sources of protein. We can safely say that ingesting 20 grams of protein in a meal or a protein shake is considered optimal to stimulate muscle protein synthesis. But ingesting 40 grams of protein can definitely increase the muscle protein synthesis and we definitely need every single percent. So as we saw, 10 to 20 percent, we consider this as meatheads as a huge benefit. As a matter of fact, if you are following any kind of diet, you need high protein intake. And if you are ingesting a protein shake, then it is kind of optimal to have two scoops after resistance training to increase muscle protein synthesis and prolong it as much as possible. Check out the other videos where I talk about protein and other studies.